Today, I'm going to share a journey with you, a shamanic journey that I had earlier this morning. So I brought my beautiful new journal along so that I won't forget anything. So first of all, I want to explain that um, I teach you to journey in a spirit canoe, and that's a birch bark canoe. On your right-hand side are male ancestors. On your left-hand side are female ancestors. In the bow in front of you is your guide, and behind you is your protection. Now, for me, having journeyed for as long as I've journeyed, my canoe is now a three-master ship. So here's what was happening today. And here comes Augie the dog. <laughs> and there goes Augie the dog. So today in my journey, what happened was that um, I, my new guide, Jesus and Mary have left and um, I have a new guide. And my new guide is the dread pirate from the movie, The Prince's Bride. So and he just he just took off his mask and revealed himself to look very similar to Johnny Depp. So there you go. And this is how journeys are. Something will happen for a while and then someone's mask will get removed and you'll see something different. So today, um, Johnny says, let's go up beyond the treehouse because that's where the male ancestors are. Now, right now, my male ancestors show up as Hulk Hogan and the bear. My female ancestors show up as CP3O and a Sufi dancer. So my, my guide is the Dread Pirate showing up and looking like Johnny Depp. And behind me is a crystal formation. Sometimes it's an amethyst in the middle and two quartz. Sometimes it's a quartz in the middle and two amethysts. So setting up the journey and then going on it. My intention was show me what I need to know today. So... Johnny built me a tree house because I don't like to feel trapped. I don't like to feel like I can't get out. And so he built me a tree house and I was like, no, I can't do that because I don't feel secure there. And he built that on the right hand side, on the male side. On the female side, when I said, geez, I don't really feel comfortable with that, he then built me something that looks like a hobbit house. So it's got a little round door and from that place he built me four exits so that I don't feel trapped there. But today we're going up beyond the green, beyond the tree house. So we climb up there and it's kind of like being in the clouds, but all of a sudden a zipper is in front of me. So I unzip the zipper and I come through and I feel like I am in ozone. I've never done ozone therapy. I have no idea what that feels like, but that's immediately what it felt like to me. I just felt like I could breathe better you know how you go out for a walk in the forest and you feel like all of that tree energy that's exactly what it felt like so I go through and then I notice that my bear is over there and he's swimming through something that looks like dippity do. Do you remember? Some of you will remember that. Some of you won't. But it's sticky, and I put it in your hair, and it made it stick up or crunch up. So he's swimming through that, and he says, "Come on in." And I'm like, "How will I breathe?" And he said, "You don't need to breathe." So I go in, and all of a sudden, I'm undulating like an eel as well. And so I do that for a few minutes in the journey. I come out and I feel like things have just been pulled off of my body. There's no stress. There's no tension. There's just the beingness. And there's that undulating kind of movement. So at that point, that's one second here. Oh, um, so I do, I dive in and I'm swimming around. And so I come out and I can't remember what was next, but Johnny and I go up to this doorway where there's a troll. And I can't remember how we got through the doorway. I think it was merely by holding hands and going through together. So we're on the other side of the doorway. And what I see is something like that looks like branches and there's like uh, a hallway and then off of them is it's not doorways it looks like the entrance to caves so there's this 
entrance that we go into over here and since we're kind of been swimming like eels, we don't have any clothes to take off. There's this huge circular tub in there. And there's paintings on the wall of all kinds of famous paintings. So we get into the tub and we're sitting in there and we're looking. And all of a sudden, the paintings start to come alive. There's, um, there's a little... A quartet playing over there. There's people in um, in the park over there, and they're all like they're all animated all of a sudden. Two geisha girls come in and they give us tea and they give us sushi. So we're in the tub and we're having sushi and we're having tea, and then it's time for us to leave. So we leave from there and we go down the hallway to another room. And this room looks out over everything. We can see for miles and miles. And so we're looking at that, just looking around, seeing what's there. And then, one second here. Um, <laughs> oh, and then after a bit, we're looking out and he said, are you ready to jump? And I was like, uh, uh, am I ready to jump? And he says, yeah, hold my hand. And I said, feet first. And he said, yes, it'll be easy. So together holding hands, we leapt off the edge of this balcony and landed down on the ship. And everything was easy. It was, the landing was soft. And so, and that's where my journey end, did. So I'm gonna have a sip of tea. You too. So in my journeys and the way that I teach, what I look for is, first of all, you're the visionary. You set time aside. I set time aside to do this. So I had a vision. I had a quest, if you will. Show me what I need to know. And then there's the enlightened spiritual warrior. Where did I show up in my journey? What did I do? Well, I allowed myself to go on go on beyond where I was scared and nervous, the treehouse. I rose above that. And then I was willing and able to open the zipper. You know, like on tents, you see those, you have those zippers. Well, I was willing to do that. And then I was willing to take the next step. So I see that as a lesson. And so what happened next? The healing was I got into a place where normally you would be worried about having to um, to breathe, you know, like dippity do is kind of sticky and gooey. But, but the bear, my male ancestor, encouraged me by saying, you won't need to breathe. So I could take that step. I could take that next step. So so too far, too far, so far, that's two steps, okay? Do you see how this all unfolds and how magical it is? So having taken that step, I was able to move in a way that maybe this body can't. You know, I was undulating through the water. And so not breathing, undulating through the water, coming out the other side, feeling like something had been taken off of me. I felt lighter. I felt more bright. I could see better. And then I was willing and able to go with my guide to the next place. So we went to the next place. We immersed ourselves in a huge soaking tub and we got fed food that both of us enjoy. So there's a healing in that. Whenever someone brings you a gift in the journey and you intake it, there's a healing there. So then after that, after we nourished up and soaked up and enjoyed up and had some green tea, we were able to go to yet another place where I had a vista where I could see everything. And 
taking it all in. Oh, I forgot this part. This is the beautiful part about speaking your journeys is you um, you get to recall things. So when we were up there in that balcony, we were floating along like in a hot air balloon, but there was no hot air balloon. Floating along over countries, looking down. Was that where I want to go? Is that where my next adventure is? What's happening here? Look over there. And in doing that, I got to look at the big picture. Having done that, then Johnny says to me, are you ready to take that leap of faith? Well, it made me a little, eh, a little eh, in trepidation. But he said, take my hand. And in your journeys, when you start to feel the fear, when you come up against the unknown, when you are there and you're there with you, they want your highest and best or better. So they would never do anything to harm you. And so take my hand, he says. And so we leap off and we float down. You know, think about like Wendy in um, oh, Peter Pan, <laughs> just floating down like that. We land and everything is just smooth and easy. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find somewhere where I can have a vista and I can look around at all the possibilities and I then can jump. So I watched... So those, that is the action. So in journeys, you are the visionary. You set time aside. You take, uh, you take your life out of ordinary and into non-ordinary reality, which is induced by a constant rhythmic drumbeat. So you're the visionary. In the journey, you are the enlightened spiritual warrior because you're taking the action and you have done it with intention and spirituality because we've set sacred space, we're in that. And then there's the teacher. What's the lesson here? Well, the lesson is to allow things to just wash off of me, to be willing to take a step, to first of all, reach down and pull up that zipper so that I can get to the next place. And then moving into that place, and what's the healing? So that's the lesson. Take the step. What's the healing? The healing is as above, so below. So what happens in my journey there was that I got nourished. I love hot tubs. I got nourished. I got nurtured. I got supported. I got handheld. And I was able to take a giant leap of faith. So this is the beauty of having spirit guides. This is the beauty of living your life divinely inspired. And this is the beauty of shamanic journeys. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop me a thumbs up, a heart, and let me know, because you know my thing is shamanic journeys. Let me know if you'd like to learn how to journey too. All right, you beautiful souls, let's give away some love. So I'm going to move this back a wee bit. All right, there we go. Energize your hand. Look, fall sweaters. Energize your hands. Put your hands on your heart. Take a nice deep breath. I open freely and fully to give, accept, and embrace all the good the universe has for me. One more time. I open fully and freely to give. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Accept big old bowls with your hands and embrace. Put it in your heart. All the good the universe has for me. One last time. I open fully and freely to give, accept, and embrace all the good the universe has for me. And just come in close. In case no one has told you so far today, you are amazing. All right. Love ya. See ya. Bye.